Not a, it's a, not a scam. It's a legend call. Uh. Hello? Pardon me? How can I help you? I got a uh, voicemail. Huh? Pardon me? Your line has been connected to my extension. This is Agent Ray Johnson with a page number GS24950. I, I got a voicemail to call this number. Something with my social security number or activity or something. Can I have your name to pull up your file and explain you? Yes, my first name is Mike, M-I-K-E. My last name is Lit, L-I-T-T. And the, uh, you have any middle initial or middle name apart from the Mike Lit? Yes, uh, F for uh, Frederick. F. Yes. And can you help me the last four of your social to pull up your file and explain you? 1463. And the zip code of your mailing address, sir? The zip code? 13118. And which city do you live in? Moravia, New York. And apart from that, have you ever been to the state of Texas, sir? Years ago, yeah, but not recently. Not recently, okay. And I believe you are retired from New York, right? Yes, I'm retired, yes. Okay. I was... Sir, at the moment, okay. your line has been connected to my extension. You are speaking with Agent Ray Johnson with a page number GS24950 with the social security department and I want you to grab a pen and a paper and write it down your case number for your future reference because this is a call concerning about the money laundering case and a truck trafficking so huh? I'm gonna explain you why okay. you're receiving this call um, okay go ahead I got paper here DC7010 that will be your case number okay I got it can you repeat it make sure you've got a current TC7010. That is your case file number. Okay. And you can also have my federal page ID number. Mm -hmm. It's in GS, is in government service 24950. 29, well, uh, two, no, 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 no. G is in George, yeah. like a government. It's like in Sam service. Oh, okay. 24950. 24950, okay. Mm -hmm. And, sir, we are over the federal recorder line, so whatever you speak in this recorder line, it should be true and honest. And also, until you understand what is going on here, I, I don't want you to involve any church worthy like your friend, family member, anyone over the recorder line. So I believe you are by yourself. No, my cousin uh, Eddie's here, but he's in the other room. Oh, okay, okay. He, he's at the room, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. So I'm going to explain you why you are receiving this call so that you can understand. And right now, I got your file out to my system and I can see here that today the reason you are receiving a phone call from our department is because we have got an order from the higher authorities to go ahead and sustain your social security number on an immediate basis. Because What's that we have found that we have found that your social security number and your information has been misusing in the state of Texas for drug trafficking and as well as money laundering. I'm so, in, I'm in New York. I'm that? not in Texas. That's the reason we are trying to reach you over the federal recorder line so that we can help you before you face any legal consequences, sir. Okay. Okay. So, like, I'm going to ask you, like, have you ever lost any of your identity, like your social security card, travel license, state ID, anything like that happened in the bus? Or have you ever shared any of your personal information over the internet through to the website? Jeez, I don't think so, no. Okay. And also, did anyone try to solve your information in the bus? How, how would I know that? No. Okay. At the moment, sir, as you are saying, you are not aware about this call or this uh, case regarding with the drug trafficking and money laundering. That means there is a strong possibility that someone may be misusing your identity, which is the biggest concern for us. And you might be a victim of theft of identity. Okay. So I what, have I gotta, what do I do? I'm going to explain you how the criminal are misusing your identity and everything so that you can understand and clear. Okay. So... The investigation has been started under your name and under your personal social information. When we recovered an abandoned car on the south border of Texas, 
in the car contains some plot and truck residue inside it. Uh -huh. In further the investigation, we found that the car was rented under your name and under your personal social information. Oh and also, uh, I would. I, I didn't rent a car anywhere. I got my own car. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't know. Uh, okay, let me explain you. Okay. First of all, let me complete my thought. Okay, complete, okay? but I don't know what's going on here. I'm getting nervous now. You don't need the nervous, sir. Okay. As you are saying that you are not the one, that means you don't need to worry for anything. We are just here to help you, okay? Okay, okay. Okay. So, apart from that car, there will do a trestling with the title of a vehicle. The first eclipse was fake, but the second eclipse in the city of Rolex was read by the U.S. Marshal, but unfortunately there was no one inside the residence. Hmm. But he have recovered inside of the residence show more than 22 pounds of cocaine, which is a highly abusive drug in some yeah, recommendation, is. which is related to the banking institution, like a Chase Bank, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Federal Credit Union, USAA Bank, SunTrust Bank, PNC, PPNT, and many more. They have also recovered more than 10 to 15 bank accounts along with some wow. credit cards. And all those entire paperwork has your name on it. My and name. also, more than more than hundred and thousand dollar that is been wired from both account locally and internationally, uh -huh. which well, always seems suspicious to us. Okay. Because uh, those transactions yeah. were made to the narco trafficking countries like Mexico or uh, Colombia. So, sir, can you also make sure? Have you ever tried to transfer any funds, any money out of the country like in Mexico or Colombia? Or do you have any friend, family member who live there? No, I just, I've sent money to, uh, wired money to my cousin Stash in Poland, but that's okay. it. Okay, how much do you do? Did oh, you I, I, I sent him a, a thousand dollars once because uh, his okay. car got impounded over there and he needed to get it out because he had to get to work at the Kobasa factory. So I oh, okay, sent him okay. that so he could get his money back, but he hasn't paid me back yet. But okay. I don't know. I think Cousin Eddie was involved. And I think they, the both of them were involved in this thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, at the moment, sir, I'm not claiming you that you are the one who have done all those. But okay. the information, whatever we have recovered, it is just done under your name. That is the reason. Before we sustain your social security number... We are trying to reach you so that we can differentiate which is truly belonging to you and we just can credit it by the imposter under your name. Okay. So before I go ahead and transfer your call to the senior investigation officer, I have a few questions for you and I want you to be complete honest with us over this recorder oh, line I will. Okay. so that we can help you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I have first question for you is that apart from the state of New York, have you ever rented any other apartment residential that you own under your name in the United States? I, you, I told you I used to live in Texas. I, I run an apartment down there. I used to work down there. I worked down there okay. for years. I was a garden gnome. And, okay, uh, for years. Yeah, but that was, gee, back in the 70s, I was a garden gnome. Okay, sir. And apart from that, how many vehicles that you own under your name? I have one. Okay. It's a 27. And the license that you had. Okay, what? Go ahead. Uh, my my car, ahead, it's, a, it's a 2017 Hibachi. Hibachi? Yes. Okay. And apart from that, uh, how many, uh, the tribal license that you had, is that a regular license from the state of New York, or you got a permit license, commercial license? I got a D DM from uh, New York. Okay, sir. And apart from that, how many financial institutions are you banking with under your name? Oh, I only bank with one. What is the name of the bank? TD Bank. TD Bank, right? Yes. And sir, in the TD Bank, you hold a checking or a saving or you have bought? I got both. Three, really. Three or two? Three accounts. I got checking, savings, and a double D. Double T. Yeah, double D. Okay, double T account, right? Right, it's the big one. Okay, okay, sir. And uh, checking, do you have any idea what is the approximate amount that you have on your TD Bank checking? Uh, probably thousand. What about saving? One thousand. Both of them are one thousand each. Yeah. Okay. What about the double T account that you have? Double D, I got five thousand in there, but I can't touch that. It's a. Uh, you know, it's one of them, like, 
retirement accounts. Oh, okay. And they they won't let you take it out, and there's a a serious consequence if you take it out too soon. Okay. Okay. And the checking, you have approximately thousand dollars. Saving, yeah. you have approximately thousand. Yeah, it might be a little bit more, a little bit less, but that's about it. Oh, okay. And apart from that, uh, do you have any debit card for this bank? Yeah, I got debit, debit card. I got debit card. Okay, sir. And do you have any other, uh, like, how many credit card do you hold under your name? I just hold one credit card under my name. What's the name of the credit card Master, company? Master Mastercard. Okay, it's a master credit card. And what's the limit that you can spend on it? Uh, five, I think it's 5000 Okay, and what? You, how much do you owe with them? I don't owe anything. I pay it off every month. That's the way you're supposed to do it, so you don't get in trouble with debt. Yeah, okay. And what will be the available balance that you have on it? 5000 I just told you I pay it off every month. Okay, that means you have available balance 500 Oh, five thousand dollars on my credit. Yes. Yeah. My credit, and apart from my, that, do you have any? My credit rating's Go real ahead, good, but because of that, I pay it off every month, and my uh -huh. credit rating's like four hundred. So it's uh -huh. pretty good. Not a problem. Yeah, it's very good. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. And okay. apart from that, do you have any four one k IRA future investment under your name? No, just a double D. Okay, just a double D account. Okay. Thank you so much for your information. Just okay. give me a quick moment. I have to update all this to the higher authorities. At the same time, your line will be directly connecting to the senior supervisor with the U.S. Treasury Department. They are the only one who is going to help you to safeguard your information. Okay, okay sir? Yes. I want you to stay connected I and will. make sure we don't get disconnected. No, I won't. Over this. Thank you so much, okay. sir. Okay, bye. Stay on the line. Bye-bye. I will. Hello? 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 Yes, can you hear me? Yes, now I can. Okay, your line has been connected to Washington, D.C. You are speaking with Senior Supervisor Sarah Khan. Sarah, oh, 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 batch oh, oh, numbers. Oh, oh, Sarah, what? Sarah, first name, second, yeah. the last name, <clears throat> Khan, K H A N. Okay, I got it. Batch number, G as in government, yeah. S as in service. Number two, one one six one. Got it. Okay, Sarah. Uh, hello? Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hello? Yeah, hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Oh. So I believe I'm speaking with Mr. Mike, right? Mike Litt. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so I just received the facts out here from the Social Security Administration of Texas, and I can see that there is a case going on under your name for drug trafficking and money laundering. And I also got the information that you stated to the officer, to the agent, Social Security agent, that you have no idea what's going on, no. and you are not the one behind any of these activities. No. Correct? Not, no. Yes. Okay, so if you are saying that you are not the one, that means there is definitely someone out there using your information and trying to impersonate you or trying to frame you. So I would like to know, do you have any suspect from your end who can use your social security number and try to impersonate you, try to frame you, any suspect? Try to frame me? From no, nobody, nobody would try to frame me, no. Okay, so... If you think that, then do you have, like, anyone who has an access with your social security or did you lose any of your social security, I mean, any of your information or social security card? Well, my, my cousin Eddie has my social security number because he goes to the bank for me sometimes. But he's the only one. All right. And you mean that he has nothing to do with it? No, he would, uh, no, I, uh, 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 just a minute. Mm -hmm. Eddie, Eddie, you, you got my social security number, right? You wouldn't do anything else with it. Fuck you, bitch! Fuck you! Uh, no, he doesn't. He didn't do anything with it. And what does he mean by that? Why is he yelling? He always yells. He's like that. I got to take care of him. He's little. He got hit in the head with a brick when he was 
work in construction, so I got to take care of him. Every once in a while, he goes off. Okay. He's, but, sir, I want you to keep this matter confidential from him. Ah, jeez. He's wound up now. What did you say, ma'am? I want you to keep this thing from him, away from him. Do not involve him Okay, Eddie, Eddie, in the situation. Eddie, because just call us confidential. Alright, he's going in the other room now to watch TV. Hey, you need to cut that crap, okay? We don't have time for that. What crap, ma'am? I don't know what you're talking about. Just cut the crap. Okay. Go get yourself a job. Me? Why don't you get a job, Rundy? Huh? You, you. scamming bastard. Fuck you. Fuck you, you scamming fuck. bastard. You, like Rundy person, okay? you Rundy fuck. You Rundy fuck.